Hello, welcome to the first tutorial. Uh, we're going to try and make a simple game that uses a maze. Uh, this tutorial is based on uh, Blender 3D, Noob to Pro, an amazing game engine tutorial which is on the web. So the first step is to get a little bit used to the Blender uh, user interface. Now in the middle of the screen you'll see a pink square. Uh, this is the default object. Now we can move around by clicking the middle button of your mouse and rotating and you can start to see that in fact it is a 3D object. Practice that a little bit. These other things on your screen here is uh, the camera which we'll use later and up here is the light source which gives it um, uh, shadows and uh, highlights. Now at any time when you're uh, manipulating this thing by holding down the middle mouse button and rotating you can return to a side view or a top view or a front view by pressing the number keys. Um, the number 7 gives us a top view, the number 1 gives us a side view and the number 3 gives us a front view. Interestingly, um, the number zero gives us the camera view, which shows us how the camera sees our object. Now, to make our maze, let's go to the top view by pressing the number seven, and we're going to get rid of everything in this scene by pressing the letter A a couple of times. A to unselect, and A to reselect everything. You'll see it's all in pink. Now, I'm going to delete it by pressing the X key, and I'm going to click yes. So now we have a blank scene. Let's quickly add a grid on which to base our maze. So up at the top on the menu I click on add mesh grid and I've already set the resolution to 16 but you can set it to 16 by typing 16 on each one on the keypad. Okay. Here's our new grid that looks a bit like a box, but it's actually a flat grid. We've got to make it a bit bigger, so we're going to scale it. And I'm going to press the S key. That, that allows me to um, scale it. And then I'm going to say how much. I'm going to scale it by 24 times by typing 24. Pretty big, huh? Let's zoom out so we can see it. With the middle mouse wheel, if you scroll that you'll see you can get it back to a normal size. Okay, next step we're going to change to edit mode instead of object mode. On the lower menu option you can click here and choose edit mode and you'll see the yellow dots highlight what we call the vertices or the points. We can also highlight the edges or the faces. In this case we want the faces so to select that, I'm going to control tab faces. Okay, currently they're all selected. So I'm just going to select one by clicking the right mouse button on it. Now, by clicking the right mouse button a few times, we can make a bit of a maze. I'm going to hold the shift button down on the keyboard and I'm going to build up a bit of a simple maze. Takes a few minutes. If I release the shift button, it will just click. It will erase all the ones I put in. So I'm going to keep holding it down until I've done. There are a lot of features to Blender, and uh, it will take a little while for you to get the ho a hang of some of them. But uh, just to start with, let's go here. Okay, there's a basic maze, pretty boring, uh, but we're going to make it more interesting. First of all, let's duplicate it. That means Shift D on the keyboard, and we'll move it off to the side and release it with a left click. There's our maze. Now, let's get rid of the original grid. Select it by clicking on with the right mouse button, and now I'm going to delete it. Well, first of all, we need to select only what we want to delete. Let's click on the select mouse, the select menu option, and we're going to choose 
link flat faces and OK. Alright, now we've selected our original grid, let's delete it by pressing the letter X. I'm going to delete all the edges of the faces. OK, excellent. Um, we've made a nice maze. Alright, let's move it over, change back to object mode, and we'll drag it back to the center of our workspace. Back to edit mode, let's shift to a side view. We're going to press the number 3. Now we're looking at our maze from the side. We're going to select all of it by pressing the A a couple of times, see how the dots have gone orange. And now we're going to extrude it, which means make it into a shape that's come out of a, a um, spaghetti maker or a cookie cutter. Press the E button on your keyboard. OK, there we go. And left click to finish the selection. What does this thing look like? Um, hold down the middle button of your mouse and let's spin it around so you can see we've got a 3D kind of maze thing happening. Look pretty cool. Okay, let's um, save this work now before we go any further. Uh, so we're going to go File, Save As, and we're going to call it Maze. Actually, uh, take the caps lock off. Maze One. Dot blend, and click Save As. Okay, now you saved your first Blender project. Uh, this is a mm, little bit advanced, uh, so hopefully you've gone well with that. Uh, hang on, make sure you've got this one saved, and then go on to the next tutorial on how to make something to move on this maze. Thank you.